on the North Cornwall coast. Just take a look out onto Summerlees Beach this morning. Uh, good swell out there. In fact, you might just be able to make out. He's standing up. Look at him go. Good lad. A couple of surfers who've been out for, uh, well, at least making the most of the conditions. Of course, brilliant for them. Not necessarily great for the rest of us, though. But if you pack your wellies, your brollies, and maybe even bring the dog for a walk, uh, what they're saying here is it's a pretty good location. And they're determined to try and get as many visitors here as they possibly can. Along the coast in Bude, we visit one of the indoor attractions that are open, and at this time of year, come into their own. The kids are off school. Um, adults are looking for things they can do with their kids. Um, obviously, bring them to a swimming pool when the coastal is uh, the tides are high and the waves are big. Obviously, it's pool's a nice place to come to get away from it all. Easter may be the traditional start of the main tourism season, but many businesses do stay open all year round. Whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is downright awful. And it's not too bad here this morning, a bit blustery. We've got a bit of what they call uh, southwest liquid sunshine here. Malcolm Bell is from Visit Cornwall. Put this week into context for us, Malcolm. Nobody's going to uh, going to make a mozza this time of year, but but it, it, is it important? It is important. It's it's it, you know it's small beer on the big scale of things. We are still talking about thirty million pounds and about eighty ninety thousand visitors there, right. which is great for those people going back because they can do a better job than I can in saying that it is actually wonderful that everything is open. And in terms of uh, cancellations, what's, what's the word on the street, the word on the beach last couple of weeks? Well, in the last week, you know, there have been some cancellations. Some have been, I just don't fancy it, which is slightly different. Some have been that I'm actually flooded where I am. But the vast majority haven't cancelled. And actually, there's been some late bookings, particularly on the north coast, because people know how spectacular it can be. And actually, there's a curiosity to come down and see what the beaches and everything is like. And do you think we as, as, as Brits can appreciate the difference between this beach in the summer and now? It, it's not going to sort of sour your view for later on in the year, do you think? No, I think the, the beauty that people is it's the rawness, it's nature, and I think actually it's just as good this time of year. It's obviously wellies and coats and everything else, not exactly sort of uh, shorts and, and surfing, no. although there's two surfers they out there today. Um, so it's a different experience, but you know, people love this time of year. All right, Malcolm, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, just a quick word on the on the rail line into Dawlish, those spectacular pictures that you'll have seen over the last couple of weeks of the of the rail line hanging in mid-air like something out of, a, out of out of a theme park, almost looks like a roller coaster, doesn't it? Network Rail are telling us that they sustained further damage to that line in the severe storms on Friday night, so it's put back their repair plans by at least another week or so. So we are getting into sort of Easter time for that line. But as I said at the beginning of my film, the vast, vast majority of people Cornwall uh, by road. But that won't be good news for the people who are a bit closer to Dawlish, the fact that that repair work is, uh, has been delayed ever so slightly. And okay. John, I fancy you get all suits on, Malcolm? <laughs> John, We're going to hit the surf. <laughs> I fancy Actually, you, surf. Let's have a look at the surf Sorry, again. Sorry, yes. Let's have a look at the surf again. It's looking good. Go on, then. Can you see them? Pete Trembath is our cameraman this morning. He's doing a very, very good job of managing to get those surfers all the way out there. It's not easy, no, as right. you know from uh, taking photos, but uh, looks great. They're a hardy bunch. Thank you very much. <laughs>